grind with Override. The man who controls the hype. To get you like thinking about like life, man, so to speak, man. So yeah, he is in studio. Um, and first and foremost, my king, man. Like, can you talk about that song, yo? Like, it's quite dope, man. You know what I'm saying? And like I'm saying, it makes you think about life, man. Your own personal life. You know what I'm saying, bro? Um, yeah. yeah. So like, can you just break it down before we actually get in? No doubt, no doubt, nah, man. Yo, first of all, brother, override. Just wanna say, yeah, I mean, thank you for having me for the born. invite. Yeah, I mean, hip hop on the grind. We up in the building, baby. You know what I mean? Southside stand up, baby. You know what I mean? City stand up, baby. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let me hit you with this first, man, before we actually... He is in the building. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) Word up, man. How you doing, my sir? Nah, nah, I'm fresh, homie. I'm fresh. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Good day to be alive. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. As much as it's a crazy world that we live in. You know what I mean? It's twisting into a crazy into a crazy kind of whirlwind you know what i mean and i think that's kind of where the, this track touches on you know what i mean mm. it's talking about as you heard the, the chorus is about food clothing and shelter you know it's like the the line that that ends the the track kind of speaks to the uh, something about like we building pyramids mm. but what does that do when we hungry we don't have shelter we don't have clo- you know what i'm saying we don't have clothing I mean, yeah, we know black people apparently build pyramids. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But but what does all this advanced knowledge, you know what I mean, that we that we spitting out here, how is it helping us on a day to day basis? You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like when you yeah. speak about food, clothing and shelter, it's like really going to that place. But it's like I wanted to I, what I did with that track is I wanted to make it also more emotional, not just because mm. oftentimes, man, it's like sometimes you feel like somebody's preaching to you. Like yo, man, here we go again with these conscious dudes trying yeah. to tell us, you know. In what the I know, mean? man, these guys are telling us how to <laughs> conduct ourselves in hip hop. You, you know, know what, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like ah, uh, man, nah, yo, you know what they say? Like Sharif, man, keep mm. it to yourself, be. You know what I'm saying? But the same no Sharif. This is speaking from the heart, and that whole album, uh, uh there were mermaids in the stream, mm. comes from that angle. It's like I wanted to tap in more to that feminine side because we know mm. hip hop is like machismo. Hip hop mm. is like this hardcore macho kind of thing that we do, you know what I mean? Braggadocio, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? And of course, I still have that in there, but it's like I leaned more to a side of myself, you know what I mean? That opened itself up to like a uh, more emotional kind of mm-hmm. stream, stream, stream of, 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 of art. Now, word up. And before we actually talk about that whole, because um, now I read your bio and it begins as um, Slimmer writes. But now, as a hip hopper, man, you know, I've been following you from um, the Art of War days mm-hmm. when um, you were Sledge Lee. So, can you just like break down like how everything started from you? You know, when did that um, radioactive hip hop spider bite you? And like, what was like life like then? Bro, I think I'm like everybody else, you know, with, who becomes an MC. You know, you go through the stages. Uh, you first start liking the stuff, like in hip hop, when you're young, and then you probably mm. start writing or trying to freestyle and stuff like that. And then you get tested in the ring, in the streets. You go to the streets, you know what I mean? And then you're going to be on the street corner, you're going to be in class or something like that, and you're going to be ciphering. And, you, and that's where you now start proving yourself. So with mm. me, it was like ever since I started doing that, that shit, or excuse my language. Um, oh, good. <laughs> After hours radio, man. I stop good. tripping. Oh, yeah. I, can, I can say shit. I, yeah, you can say shit. But then the other, the other words. The yeah, other words. I'm gonna hold back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Nah. Nah. We're gonna keep it clean. Um. I'm not. I'm not a big swearer anyway. I mean. But f this and f that. But um. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> nah. It's like, for real. When so you st- you get tested in the streets. You get into ciphers. You get into battles. You know what I mean. And then you know you wanna. You you you, ch- you check it. The streets check you. you know I mean, if you if you're nice enough, then you get the you get the stamp. You know mm. what I mean? To be like, oh shit, nah, he's nice. You know what I mean? Mm. And then you can go up against nicer cats. Mm. But it's like really for me when it when it really became real. It's like yeah, I was I was rapping, doing all of that. You know, I had bunch of you know everybody got their books of rhymes and all of this, mm. walking around with their backpacks and all of this. But then it's like 2008. Uh, there's this competition called sprite mc africa mc chronicles bad uh, battle chronicles Mm. sprite mc africa so it's like yo i find out about this thing i mean 2008 like (laughs) i probably like yeah i mean um i probably just like i'm probably still in school at that time Mm. you know i mean and then uh what 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 happened is the audition it was a big audition in mary fitzgerald square Mm. 
Yo, all the MCs was there, bro, from all over Joburg, from all over the Val, from all over like they had all come, bro. It was it was full up there. Had mm-hmm. they had like three um, judges? I think it was like Proverb, Lee. They had Mizi. It was four of them, and they had um, Zubs. Mm. And so cats were like, like it was like hundred MCs, and so it's like hundred cats go up there, and basically there's a beat playing, and you spit your stuff, whatever it is. I don't know if it's a written or free or whatever. Mm. They choose eight. Out of those, like out of a hundred, yeah, like Damn. out of all those niggas was rapping like the whole morning. Mm. I mean, to the afternoon, they chose, they had to choose eight. So you know, you're sitting there, you're like, yo, I'm, I'm like, man, I'm younger than all, like all these cats, you know what I mean? Mm. And all the top MCs is there, bro, like battle cats, cause it's this battle chronicles thing. <laughs> so I'm like, yo, I'm, I know I'm nice with it, but I'm like, hey, you know, whatever, we'll throw it to the wind. We don't know whatever happens, but it doesn't take nothing away. You know what I mean. Probably start naming the eight. You know what I mean? They're talking about the dumbest. Mm. They're talking about snares. Mm. They're talking about um, naming names <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah, like already those two at that time. Yeah, like, God level, bro. Yeah. In the streets battling, you don't want to see those cats at all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A dumbest <laughs> snares projector was yeah, there. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? The yeah, elephant. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> They had uh, a cat called Skills. Uh, syllable Skills. Syllable is a Syllable Skills. I, I don't know. Yeah, no, 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 it wasn't, it wasn't okay. Syllable Skills. Yeah, because Skills is, is Syllable uh, Skills is young. If you took in 2008. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah, it's, it wasn't him. They had they had him. They had um, who else was up on that lineup, bro? You know what I mean? So, and they had Ben Sharper. Bro. First in peace. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, yo, you look at that captain. Like my homie's telling me, my li- like now, and and then they say Sledgy Lee. Hey, you know I mean? like, I'm part of this eight. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, oh, but I'm amped, bro, because you know, yeah. when you coming up like that, you ain't scared of nobody. Yeah. Like you want to yeah. eat, bro. Yeah. You yeah. want to eat, like you know what I'm saying. Especially when you're that young, and <laughs> when you're that young, and when you're that cousin, young, and yeah. You know what I'm saying? You want to eat, so I'm like, Shh, man, let's go, B. You know what I mean, I did. Have to be honest, I knew Snaz, I knew Adamus. Like, but I like just from seeing them in the streets. But it's like I didn't even know Shopper. You know what I'm saying? My homie's wilding out because he's like this big Shopper fan. He's like, oh, Captain, my Captain. Because now yeah. they now they're doing the the, the uh, like they they lining us. I mean, they the they're doing the draw. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm drawn up against Shopper, right? So it's like my dude is here, like Captain, my Captain. Oh, Captain, my yo, yeah, you know I man. But now nah, you gonna do it? You gonna kill this? Like you. Know what I mean? <laughs> I'm like nah you know yeah. what it is G like you know what I mean like yeah. we go in so uh, yeah that's how it happened I went in battled with Sharper you know what I'm saying it was a dope battle and um, he got the W mm. um, the judges it was like it, there was three judges yeah and so the one proverb gave it to me. Yeah, proverb yeah, was like yeah. nah sled, sledge so took he, it yeah. you know what I mean and then Lee and Mizi Oh no, Zubs and Meezy yeah. were like, um, they gave it to, to to Ben. And then somebody from the crowd yeah. ran out of the crowd, B, and grabbed, because Lee was hosting the whole show. Yeah. He grabbed the mic out of Lee's hand, dog. He's like, hey, as, as ring it var, my face. So now the whole crowd is like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But it was, that was just a nice moment for, for like, because the crowd was hyping, but it's like, what were they gonna do? Give us more rounds to go. It was yeah. decided. You know what I'm saying? But that was really like now that was where I could say like okay, that's mm. where the name started going off. Like you know what I mean, being hype magazine and shit. And then that's really where it started, bro. That that like mm. MC Chronicles battle. So it's like when I think of cat, I think a lot of about cats, like trying to get in the game as artists in this hip in this hip hop thing. And I think like that's why you see the dope. It's dope now seeing what all these battle leagues are doing mm. because. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's a, that's one of the ways that you get your name up. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You go in, you go out there, and now it's even more organized than it was. Mm-hmm. Like MC Chronicles was probably the first time something like that had been seen. I was I was already watching Smack Battles at that time. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, mm-hmm. but I, I don't think I, I wasn't even like memor- memorizing was one of the hardest things. So mm-hmm. I was still relying a lot on freestyle. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But it's like those pla- those these these formats, man. That's how you be able to get your name up. Like let. The, like people in, in the culture know mm. that okay this person is a serious bitter you know what I mean 
Okay, now word man, and there's a difference between um, you know rabbit. Like I was talking, to, I was talking about this in like the in the no feature that we had just now, but there's a difference between um, just rapping, right, and um, being a part of the culture. So when did you first of all um, know? Okay, there's a hip hop culture, and when did you want to be a part of the hip? When did like the culture become a focal point in your journey, bro? Day one, day one, because like yo, when you see like. Um, Snoop Dogg, for example, with the style of his hair, the way he's dressed like some West Coast dickies, yeah. you know what yeah. I mean, with the All Stars. Also, yeah. at the time, it looked like some Pansula shit because we yeah. were we were coming out of that Pansula era. You yeah. know what I mean? And then you look at um, maybe you look at Criss Cross, or maybe you look at, you know what I mean, even if it's Nas, like with the with the Tim boots and all mm. of it. Like already, that's a culture because you're seeing a different style of dress. Mm. You want to dress like that. You borrowing your all the cousins' jeans just so you could have the big ones because yeah, your yeah, parents yeah, is like, no, yeah. we're not buying you no know, fuck. Yeah, like, you know yeah, 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 big yeah, ass yeah. pants like no. You know what I mean, <laughs> so now yeah. you doing that just to have the baggy jeans. You know what I'm saying? Now you want the terms or you you want to rock your all stars in a certain way or you know what I mean? So it's like from day one you beat boxing. Mm, you know what I mean? Mm, uh, mm. You in a cipher like mm. the moment. I remember I must have been like uh, mm, mm. I, I, I must have been like 11 or 12 you know what I'm saying and 11 like, or 12 before you like when you started rapping n- bro I started like at writing at 10 but yeah. I remember the first time I was in a cypher I was like 11 or 12 yeah. my, my older cousin was an MC yeah, yeah, he's like 15 you know what I mean so he had his crew so they're rapping there they're in a cypher so he knows that like I'll be doing like I'll yeah. be writing and all of this you know what I mean so he's like yo come through like come through like we, we cipher I'm with these old niggas you know what I mean he's like yo get in the cipher I'm shook but I'm like alright let's go so somebody beatboxes mm. and I just went in you know what I mean like mm. whatever rhyme it was freestyle and old dudes was like yo yo yeah. they made me part of the crew immediately Mm, mm, lyrical mm. laws. <laughs> word up, word up, lyrical laws. Because yeah. now, um, I, I want to touch on that. Like, um, this era of hip hop that we're in now, or the past two generations of hip hop, now, um, what do you think they're missing out on? Uh, like when they're not battling, when they're not ciphering, because now there's certain there's certain things that like you learn from. Okay, well, this is something that you gotta have to answer, man. So like, what do you think we're missing out on by not partaking in ciphers, by not partaking in battles as MCs? You know what I mean? Like, I think I think this one is linked to the question you just asked. Like, really, this is a culture. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And when you start talking about culture, you have to start talking about uh, how much can we really call it hip hop then if it's not dealing with the elements and if they're not you know if they're not doing the trip following the traditions of the culture is it still hip hop or is it a corporate uh, 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 some co- some corporate like monster that's been created mm. to run the, the narrative of what they want hip hop to speak about mm. so you start asking those questions you know what I mean Are we de- sometimes you look at some of the stuff and you be like yo that's not hip hop B that's pop music but we have to yeah. be real we have yeah. to be real yeah. like yeah. pop music there was a time when like in the 80s and the 70s like all the time they've been having this this mainstream record industry mm-hmm. like there was there's always been pop music there's always been music that's been considered like the popular music right today popular music is it's, not the rock music like it was back in the days the it's not music. this indie whatever the, like you know what I mean it's not even cocaine like usually it was the caucasians you know what i mean who were running the mm. pop music now it's not it's it's it's, it's hip hop it's not hip hop it's pop it's not it's pop <laughs> <laughs> it's pop you see what i'm saying that's what happened there was an evolution of pop handing the baton over so now which is the most which is the most popular music you have in the most popular music you have in the most popular it's it's pop music but it's like they've borrowed they've borrowed styles and they've borrowed things from hip hop Mm. You know what I mean? But it's just like it's just like uh, uh, there's o- there was original blues. Mm, 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 there was mm. there was original rock and roll that was done by like <laughs> you know what I mean? These old school black these old school black guitarists, these old school mm. blues folk. You know what I mean? Mm. There have been like generations of slaves behind them. Mm. You know what I mean? And then what they put Elvis Presley there. Ish. That's what happens with the music industry. You know put, what I'm saying? Put M up in. The you know what I mean? And 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 then what? Like with Elvis Presley being there, is it still what was being done by the the, the children of 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 generations and generations of slaves? Is it where does it come from? Where's that pain? You know what I mean? The pain in the music coming from. 
does it change because now it's more commercialized e- you see what i'm saying so this is yeah. this is what we have to consider like you know when you start talking about hip hop mm. maybe people are not maybe a lot of these kids are not doing hip hop anymore maybe they doing pop now a lot of them are doing pop and they don't realize it because because that's the general consensus because it's important to poison hip hop it's important for the corporates to poison hip hop especially with what's happening right now man um um in the space where now the like the narrative is that like hip hop is dead right and we have major voices um in the industry saying that we must now all migrate to this other sound you know you know what i mean and for me it's a thing of like wait a wait a second wait a second so now if we all migrate to the sound what's going to happen to everybody so what must we stop or we must we just like switch off the mics and all that you know you know what i mean but anyway let's just talk more about you man so now when did you make the um transition from um sledge lee to um first of all what does sledge lee represent in comparison to um slimmer rights word word so sledge lee is is that what i like what i told you about me being in these ciphers me going to battles like me being in the streets you know what i mean and being mm-hmm. in the streets by being in the streets i mean like <clears throat> doing things that i shouldn't be doing in the streets mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying um getting into fights moving this moving that um you know what i'm saying chilling with different crowds you know what i'm saying so it's like that street that very strong street influence bro like really trying to be rep- respected in the streets mm-hmm. with the crews that i move with and with how i move and whatever art i do that's legally that's like that's really like coming from mm-hmm. or, like straight up straight up street like uh representation and like streets saying? like wh- which streets are these from so um like my first the first blocks i came up in was like yovel and yeah, berea yeah, you know what yeah, i mean yeah. and you know like there it's like hip hop hip hop like um really did it that's where that's where it was at like yeah, like, all your, like hip hop that's that place is hip hop like i stayed bro. in yovel before and i was like damn bro and bro. i might just get hip hop by these cats right bro, now like best yeah. basemental platform i think we, we're doing work there cashless society Ish. was up in there i know yeah. specs was around that area um the masina brothers mm. like um were also in that area yeah, i mean a lot of, a lot of hip hop was coming out of that area you know what i mean so that's that's the first but then also you know it's like a se- a center a hub of crime mm. <laughs> yeah, mm. i mean that whole yovo all the way from to from, Hilbert, from from yeah like man. from from Joe Slovo to Rasta House man <laughs> like you 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 going to yeah i know yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a hub of a whole lot of different things let me not just say crime but it's a whole like things a lot of things happening in the streets mm, boarded fetuses on the floor type steez yeah a lot of crazy yeah. stuff happening in the streets you know what i mean and then um also then move to the south Xavier Reef which is like um yeah it's like the Omonde side of the south but it's mm. just like in the south so it's like south but it's naturena it's south dale mm. and then like you know next you you next door to dk you next door to so like that's that's slegely and then selema rights is an evolution of that which is like first i did a track first i first i evolved to dice mac mm. because let me break it down like this when dice you s- when i say slegely do you hear african no nah. could be from, i could be from queens yeah I like could. sledge league get boss yeah 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 king of fight like uh, yeah sure it's it's yeah. like an american it sounds yeah. like an american thing right mm. so the whole thing was this bees like uh, this is my own identity yeah i mean uh, mm. me going through my own identity being like yo i i love hip-hop i grew up in hip-hop it's like my culture that like there's no culture i actually understand better mm. <laughs> than hip-hop it made me a man you know what i'm saying mm. it's like but now I'm also a pan africanist. I'm a person who has proud African identity. You know what I mean? I'm a person who, who cares about the liberation of our people. We still not liberated all those liberations so that they talked about. So h- hence hence the MK uh, cap that you're wearing. Okay. This is yeah, this is my crew Metropolitan Kings. Mm. So we we did it like that so it could be MK because mm. definitely it's about this soldier mentality. Mm. It's about mm. you know what I mean? So now as you go and you and you it, and you evolve as a person like for me as I was evolving as a person I'm like yo this legally is this dope it's cool like i see what i did with it because by that time i in 2014 i became a world champion under mm. sledgy lee mm. like you know what i mean mm. like a real like a world champion freestyle mc mm. to an uh organization called end of the week which is basically it's all it's all across the world i think they have about 15 chapters now 
in Asia, in South America, in Africa. So you became a world champion of that. Word, word. Like I flew to yeah. Uganda. I went up against the French champ, the Canadian champ, German. Uh, it was US, UK, Germany, France, Uganda, and uh, Switzerland. Yeah. And then I was representing South Africa. You know what I mean? And Damn, then yeah, we shot out. We yo. did the thing. Damn. Yeah, so I'm I'm like now now I'm a world champion 2014. You know, I've mm. been working at like the 2008, you know, we built I, we built with the crew Metropolitan Kings put out a bunch of videos. I put out like some mixtapes under Sledge Lee, you know what I mean? A lot of work and then now I think it was a dope crowning moment to be like, yo, you you, you grew up under hip hop, you gave your so much of yourself to this. Now you're a world champion it's like i felt that was i didn't believe it but it was like i got how there was a lot of justice in that you know mm. but now when you become when that when that happens it's like then a metamorphosis of some I'm, sort i'm evolving be yeah. i'm evolving at a different pace you know what i mean and it's like now sledgy lee just sounds like some american uh name like that i'm trying to be i was trying to be I mean obviously when you're young you're not trying to be you are you are who you mm. are you know what I mean but once you gain knowledge more knowledge deeper knowledge of self you, you you look at things to a different like a funnel you know what I mean especially depending on your center where your center is yeah. you know what I'm saying so it's like now I'm like yo I want to represent more Africa I want to I want to how how does it sound if I did that like I'm not I'm not per- perfect in any African language speaking it but it's like what does it mean what are the symbols now that I would represent and what would my name be You know mm, what I'm saying? Mm. Those questions. So first it's like Dice Mac, Dice Mahut. Mahut mm. is like my surname, you know what I'm saying? Where so I was bringing in the African and then I evolved like when I featured on my uncle's album Hugh Masekela. Mm. Just in peace, yeah. I was featured as Dice Mahut. Mm. You know what I mean? Wait, I was so, so going wait, wait, the so, so wait, so hold up. Uh, y'all y'all are relate because I saw I saw in your um bio you said you did a song with um Hugh Bra Hugh's son as well so so you guys are related word 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 nah, he's, word he's my up, uncle yo. like my mom's brother yeah, i mean yeah oh that's crazy man oh your no respect man it's in the blood then most if that's the case yo so you know yeah. now i feel like maybe because look the f- the thing is i never told anybody like and i never wanted anybody to know that human yeah. was my uncle nobody ever knew it the yeah. whole time i've been doing mc i've been rapping yeah. And Same I thing did with that. robots, like robot boy. Like if he knew who his dad is, um, like, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, so I didn't. I made sure that nobody ever knew that because to me, it's like, yo, you build your name on your name. Be, you don't, mm. you don't lend. Yeah, I mean, uh, some somebody else's yeah, name to vibes, try to yeah. try and get your your art, your art respected. You know mm. what I'm saying? So that was never a thing for me. You know what I mean, but when my uncle passed away and. <clears throat> uh even obviously features me on his album so now it's like what what am i gonna say like he just so i didn't say much i didn't say it was my uncle even at that time you know i was mm-hmm. like i'm featured on uh prahu's album and but it's like when he passed away there was a lot of duties that were put on to me from my family like mm-hmm. yo represent go do tributes in different countries like went to london doing uh musical tributes Damn, went yeah. to like lesotho went like did cape town jazz fest all around the country <clears throat> doing these tributes you know what i'm saying and i'm on stage singing stimela you know what i'm saying so it's just like at that point i was like yo i can't like i can't just it's, I, yeah. I, i am a world champion you know what i'm saying it's like i don't have to be ashamed anymore or to to hide this thing that yo this mm. is my uncle you know what i'm saying so i, I came out more uh, uh more more confident about it just to say it mm. but then also it was happening at the same time when i was going through this evolution of being like trying to move into a more african direction not knowing even what that means you know what i'm saying mm. and thinking that if i just start with my name maybe that would lead me like to it you know mm. what i'm saying and then eventually it's like <clears throat> dice mac dice mac there's a future for dice mac so just look out for that but then selema writes is now my name that's my name that my mom's gave me mm. and then selema is my grandfather mm. and he was given to him by his grandfather and then goes on like that so when you say selema You, it's, you're it's, invoking it's, a it's, name it's bro your like whole, it's your whole clan like, basically you, you know what yeah. I mean? a whole lot of my ancestors coming with that you know what i'm saying and it's not doesn't sound cool right mm. does it's not like sledgy lee sledgy lee sounds cool people was like ah man don't drop sledge man mm. don't drop that keep that i love sledge you know what i'm saying mm. and i was like hey bro mm. it hurt me i was like man but i have to do this because as much as i know it as people who support the brand 
it's like what do you do as an individual as you're going through these evolutions you have to be real to yourself otherwise you're just going to be standing on the parroting acting like somebody that you don't even feel you are anymore you know what i'm saying so it's like Damn, i had to yeah. do that you know what i mean and then so silema becomes that you know what i'm saying and it's like just to say rights because rights is a double meaning mm. there's rituals in rights you know what i'm saying mm. like if you take the w mm. from rights mm. you're talking about rituals you know mm. what I mean? so it's like bringing that sense of ritualism bring which is as some african, african thing yeah and then silema which is like uh you know my the name mm. you know what i mean which basically means it deals with a time when you harvest mm. because mm. Mm. great farmers come from this name you know what i mean mm. So uh that's why that's why I stumbled on the four like I dropped four projects from last year um April mm. between last year April and this year January I dropped four projects first one was mm. peace be upon you EP second one was mama still a freedom fighter third one uh mermaids they were mermaids yeah, at the stream yeah, yeah. The fourth one uh the last one that I just dropped in January was Bumaye and that was produced by uh shout out mindframe mve from queens new york mm. produced that whole project and it's just like if you look at all the covers you see that it's all gods and goddesses mm. Mm. what i stumbled upon was that there's seven african powers because this is not just okay. me this is not just me talking yeah, like when yeah, i yeah, go yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I'm, i'm reading i'm trying to discover more about things because like what yeah. it means to be an african what it means to be Af- african spirituality intrigues me You know what I mean? Mm. And Sledge had nothing like Sledge was just you, you don't want to mess with Sledge. He's going to kill you in the booth and he's going to f you up in the streets if you if you try to push him on the wrong buttons. But now this is a whole different angle now, you know what I mean? From from a self perspective of projecting where one's trying to like what is one is trying to reveal through the art. So now so, what happens is there's these four it's all it's all gods and goddesses, but what I stumbled upon is that there's seven African powers. Okay, can you break them down before we wrap up? Sure, yeah. sure, sure. I'll just break out. I'll break them, break them down. So basically, there's like the seven, uh, it's, it's seven gods and goddesses. Um, that, co- that is, is it like a duality thing? Uh, there, there's actually three, three god. It's three goddesses, and then it's uh, oh, okay. four, it's yeah. four gods. But basically, what it is, it's it's the it's the it's the story of um, primordial and prime uh, uh, essential energies. That, that basically brought about creation, manifestation yeah. and creation you know what i mean but through the african story through african mythology through african uh traditional ways of doing things you know what i'm saying and as i as i linked into that i was like yo this is nuts and it just happened and so we on four um i'm still going to reveal the faces of the other three as i release my upcoming projects and and, and when are you going to be releasing that so uh yo there's a lot of projects coming bro i'm working on a project with uh the don who's a producer from switzerland i'm working mm. on another Dope. another project that's uh with sakani and that project actually features mischief rest in peace mm, rest it also yeah. features uh snaz mm. um and invades on the it's uh mizi produced on there like a bunch of dope uh nyams produced on there like a bunch of dope cats produced on there uh, i got another project um that i'm working on with al the third you know what i mean um so it's it's a, it's a couple of projects uh there's another oh yeah there's another one that i'm working on with a cat called taban cool which is very dark but it's like a yeah, different angle yeah. but yeah man so there's a lot of work that's that's you know I, I, like i just i just i'm just gonna keep giving people the work and i mean no keep word, giving yo. people the quality and yeah man just go there check out selama rights i mean i'm all, i'm on all platforms like for music i'm on all platforms for social media but also uh hit me up direct i, I now have the physical discs physical uh, copies of all my, my like the material the four albums that i dropped so yeah people could just hit me up direct and you know cop those now word up man and as we wrap up like what's your i could say message of hope to the hip-hop on the grinders um that are like i won't say struggling but trying to like you know make find their breakthrough in the space uh man i would say like yo don't judge uh what you're doing by um by numbers you know we're living in a world today which is so internet based you know what i'm saying like everything is about how many followers how many likes how many like if you are a real artist stop looking at all that stuff man you know what i'm saying yeah. do your stuff from the heart you know what i'm saying and build 
also don't try to be an overnight thing like you have to build this following you know what i mean as you as you keep as you keep going on with your journey you know what i'm saying so don't d- get discouraged by like small things like that and also understand that it's going to take you time to build you know what i mean and invest in your cra- invest in your craft bro like you know what i mean sure. put money behind that sh- that 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 yeah shandies that shandies yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah so sure. now where does born man and um yeah where can we find you on um social media and um yeah man i, I just feel like we could have sp- we could be talking for uh, we need like, we need a podcast session bigs <laughs> where, where, where we're breaking down because now um i feel like we, we missed a whole lot of stuff bro bro and like i have a lot to share you know what i'm saying i have a lot to share when you have time just hit me up bro i'll come through and we'll talk more okay no you know no diggity doubt man yeah. and then yeah man so that was dope man and like yeah so you are a part of the family i'm seeing that the song didn't really like come it's, it's literally the same song so I'll, 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 I'll replay that oh, okay, now. Yeah. and then and then um yeah it's a part of the playlist and then yeah we'll, we'll take it from them okay. blessings blessings okay. man where is born so in studio we had um all cinema rights um coming through um a whole lot of knowledge but in like bits and pieces man so it's up to hip hop on the grind with override the man who controls the hype